Hi guys and welcome to another Brushmaster video. Today we're going to be painting all the necklace elements on the Daybreak Miniatures Orc bust. And I'm starting off here with the strapping of the necklace and I'm putting down a sort of loose base coat of hull red. Um, I've base coated everything in dark sea blue again to try and keep the harmony within the miniature. Um, but I'm I'm putting this first layer on and I'm leaving some of the dark blue showing in the shadowy areas. So this is the first highlight I'm putting on and I'm simply mixing in some of AK Interactive's Orange Brown. Um, I use this tone in the hair as well so it'll create a little bit of colour harmony in that section of the miniature. Um, but I really like this colour a lot. It's, it's quite a bright orange. I wouldn't say it's very brown but it's more of an orangey colour. Um, but this works really nice on leather and straps and things like that. So this comes out looking very nice and I kept it simple. I didn't put scratches and cuts all over the leather. I just wanted to keep it fairly simple on this. And this is the final highlight of the straps here. Uh, I think this is virtually pure orange brown now. And I'm just adding it into the very highest points of the necklace and on the top edges. Um, so they're the bits that are gonna catch the most light. And where a bottom edge sticks out a bit, I'm putting paint on that area too. Um, but as I said, I kept this fairly simple. A few little marks I've, I'm putting on here with the orange brown, but not an awful lot. Um, just keeping it fairly simple and understated. So here we're starting to paint the tusks. So I'm painting these as a fairly straightforward bone color, but I, I, I usually do bone slightly differently on every miniature I paint. And this is like the teeth I painted on the face. So this is based in dark sea blue. And the first mix I'm adding, I actually put some dark sea blue into the mix. So this mix has got a bit of dark sea blue and then I'm mixing it with chocolate from AK Interactive and I'm lightening it with buff, which is a nice sort of parchmenty yellow tone from AK Interactive. Now one of the most important things about painting these tusks is the light direction. So what a lot of people do with things like bones and tusks etc they tend to paint the highlight all in the same place. So a lot of people would paint all the highlights towards the pointy, pointy end of the bones but if you notice here, if my light is from upper left, which is what I've painted the rest of the model to, then the highlight on these bones is gonna be different places. So as you can see this one here I'm painting, the highlight is towards the top of the bone, of the tusk rather, because this is nearer to the light source. And the tusks on the left as we look at it, then the light will be more towards the point and the middle. This tusk here, it's very much towards the base of the tusk. So it's important to remember that when you're painting element to always respect your light source and paint to that. 
So as you can see here, the lights on this tusk are more towards the end because that's the place that's closer to the light. This tusk here, I've painted the highlight more to the middle, the middle and the end, because this is where I believe the light would hit most. And as I work through these bones, once I've got my initial mix of the chocolate and dark sea blue, every highlight or light that I'm putting on then, I'm just adding more and more buff. Um, I work up to almost pure buff, but not quite. But as you can see at the end, buff is more than light enough to paint bones. So I don't really like to go too much to white on a lot of things. Um, because I think it, it can look quite unnatural at times. Um, but going to buff on these makes the bones look really nice and natural and a little bit more realistic, I think. So, and towards the end, I, I will be making the opposite end of the highlight darker by, I washed in here, um, dark sea blue towards the shadowy end just to add a little bit more contrast and darkness. So here I'm starting to paint the, the little brassy gold sections on the end which hold the, the tusks on the necklace. And again, I started to mix, I had a little bit of dark sea blue. They were base coated in dark sea blue. But this is my old gold recipe, which works well for like a brassy look as well. And it's literally chocolate and Japanese brown at this stage. And I just keep adding mixes where I'm adding more and more Japanese brown to get more of that sort of yellowy mid-tone um, and edge highlighting as I go. And the last stages of this to add the little pop highlights is, again, I'm just adding in buff towards the end just to just to add that little tiny bit of a shine. I don't overdo the shine on this, um, but it, it turns out looking pretty nice. And like I said, I don't want this to be loud, shiny and standing out too much. So I think it fits in really nicely. Thanks for watching guys and join me next time for another Brushmaster video.